Hello together. As you might know, the draft international standard of the ISO and SAE 21434 is available since mid of February. A central part of it formalizes how to perform a threat analysis and risk assessment, or short, TERRA. It basically takes the definition of the item that should be analyzed and yields the risk treatments for each threat scenario that, has, that was identified. The subsections 8.3 up to 8.9 detail on how to do that. This analysis is actually performed at various times throughout the whole life cycle from conception up to the maintenance later on. After I told you all this, you might be wondering how to practically run a Terra that conforms to the ISO 21434. My name is Bastian Kruck and I work for Itemis. And in Itemis, we are building the Yakindo Security Analyst. That is a tool that is supporting you in doing exactly that, a 21434 conformant analysis. In this example, we will analyze the risk of spoofing a message on the CAN bus in a car. In this case, it will result in the headlamp turning off unexpectedly, which can be a dangerous thing if, if that happens at night. We will try to enter the system through the navigation ECU, with, which has both access to a cellular network and also a Bluetooth feature. We will try to compromise them both and consider which one is the more feasible attack. So that much about the item definition. Let's go on with the identifying some of the assets. To identify the assets, we walk over each system element one by one and decide if it demands confidentiality, integrity, or availability. So that is the question, is this an actual relevant asset? For example, regarding the lamp off request, the confidentiality might not be something that we want to consider. So let's reject it. And regarding the integrity, it was already accepted, so there was a security objective created in behind. And we can decide for a damage scenario. So that might be something like blowing up. Well, we can create a new damage scenario in here and reference it. But in this case, let's go for some existing one, which is the headlamp turning off unexpectedly. That is what would happen if the integrity of the this function would be violated, right? So now that we identified our asset, let's skip over the threat scenarios for now and go on with rating the impact of it. Here we can see the damage scenario. Headlamp turns off unexpectedly. It has a severe impact level, which is the combination of the various factors we assessed for it. It is severe because taking the maximum of it, well, we decided it to have a life-threatening impact. That is a severe thing. Opposed to this, the headlamp turning on unexpectedly is not as bad. It's just serious because it is a serious limitation in vehicle operation. Now that we discussed the impact of the damage scenarios, let's go back to the security objective, which we created during the asset identification. Remember, the integrity of the switched off request is the one thing that we are considering, and we just rated the impact of this damage scenario to be severe. Let's have a look at how we get to this medium attack feasibility level. So on one hand, we need to send a CAN message from the compromised navigation system. But in order to do that, we need to have access to the navigation system, either via a cellular interface or via Bluetooth. We can also look at the whole attack tree and this graph and see that the resulting risk level seems to come from, on one hand, the attack feasibility that is needed for the CAN message. And in this case, the Bluetooth attack was the easier one, right? So the attack feasibility from this one is highlighted. Since we now had a look at the attack path, Let's come to the attack feasibility to see how the security analyst comes to mind about this. For that, I 
open the attack step three, which was the compromise of the navigation system via Bluetooth. As we can see here, both of them have a severe impact level, which is calculated based on the damage scenario that, that comes from the um, integrity security objective, but they have different attack feasibilities. For cellular interface, it is low, and for the Bluetooth interface, it is medium. For attack steps, the feasibility is determined um, via factors. So, as suggested by the ISO 21434, we are using a couple of factors that are rated and um, have a degree of feasibility from very, very low to very high. These values are converted into numbers and summed up so that we, in the end, come to a medium attack feasibility here. And the risk level that results from this is also a different one in, in these cases. That's why we, what we can see at the bottom here. Now that we have had a look at the attack feasibility, we can finally de determine our risk. We already saw the preview here that it's that it's going to be about a, a risk of four because let's assume the attacker takes the easiest path. And in the result report, we will be able to see a risk distribution diagram that determines our risk with a medium feasibility and a severe impact over here. This is actually a view where we can customize the elements that will come up in the final exported um, PDF or DOCX um, or even HTML report. This is the one that we can hand over to downstream development or to auditors of the security plan. So after we've been speaking about all this and I've been showing you all that, you might have further questions such as how we are treating risks or how we are dealing with controls, because controls sometimes also introduce an asset such as the um, confidentiality of a security key, right? The private key needs to be confidential and it needs to be considered. We support all this, but I didn't want to give it all away. Most importantly, you learned that a Terra can be structured and documented in a way that allows refining it later on without ending up in a mess of interdependent spreadsheets or having to reperform the whole analysis. If you have questions or want to know more how we allow such incremental and iterative workflow, contact us at security-analyst at itemis.de and we will be happy to set up a personal call with you to tell you more. That's it from my side and I will now open my inbox and check if I got a mail from you. Speak to you soon.